y bienvenidos a Coffee Break Spanish. Welcome back to Coffee Break Spanish. Yo soy Mark. My name is Mark and I'm here to help you learn some Spanish. Last time we were learning the phrase, where are you from? And the answers to that phrase. In this episode, we're going to take that a little further and learn how to say, I am from, for example, London, but I live in Madrid, for example. So I hope you enjoy today's lesson. So, in the past few weeks, we've been covering quite a number of words and phrases that will help you get started off learning Spanish. We've covered greetings. We've learned how to ask people how they're feeling and answer them. We've also learned to talk about names and to say where you're from. So, Cara, can you remember, first of all, how to say hello? Hola. Okay, and obviously, as Cara's responding to these questions, you should be thinking if you can remember the answers to these two. So, hola is indeed hello. What about good morning? Buenos días. Buenos días. Muy bien. Buenos días. Now, good afternoon starts with a similar word, but changes ever so slightly. Good afternoon. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Mm -hmm. Buenas tardes. What about good night? Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Muy bien. Now, listeners, can you remember how to say goodbye? Cara, can you help us? Adios. 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 Okay, now we also learned how to say, how are you feeling? How are you? Two short words. ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? So, Cara, ¿qué tal? Muy bien, gracias. Y yo, muy bien también. Muy bien was one of the answers, meaning very well. How would you say, well? Bien. Bien. What about not very good at all? Fatal. Fatal. And can you remember any of the words for really great, excellent, fantastic? Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Or can the listeners remember the other one? Estupendo. Estupendo. So we had estupendo, fenomenal, muy bien, bien, fatal. And I think that was everything that we covered in the main podcast. Now, we also learned how to say, my name is. Listeners, can you remember how to say, my name is? Me llamo. Me llamo. So, me llamo Mark. And how would you ask the question, what is your name? Now, there are two versions of this. Let's start with the informal version, first of all. What is your name? Speaking to a friend. ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo te llamas? Muy bien. ¿Cómo te llamas? Repeat that with me. ¿Cómo te llamas? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo te, te llamas? llamas? Now, if you're talking to someone that you don't know so well, you need to use a different form. And this one we covered last week. So see if you can remember this. ¿Cómo te llamas? is the informal version. How do you say what is your name to someone that you don't know so well? ¿Cómo se llama usted? ¿Cómo se llama usted? And usted is that formal word for you. ¿Cómo se llama usted? ¿Cómo se llama usted? Muy bien. Now, we also covered something else last week. We talked about where are you from. Where are you from? Again, there's two forms of this. Now, if you're trying to remember how to say this, it might help to rework it into the sort of translated version from where are you. So the word in Spanish for from is? De. Where? Donde. And then two different versions of are you? De donde eres for informal and de donde es usted for formal. Let's repeat these again. De donde eres? De donde eres? De donde es usted? De donde es usted? De donde es usted? De donde es usted? Muy bien, muy bien. To say, I am from, you use a, sh a small word that means I am, which is? Soy. Soy. Soy, and then the word for from. De, soy, de, and in our case we would say, soy de Escocia. Soy de Escocia. But if you're from Spain, you might say? Soy de España. Mm -hmm. Soy de España. And if you were from the States, you might say? See if you can work that one out. Cara? 
Soy de los Estados Unidos. Muy bien, soy de los Estados Unidos. Perfecto. Okay, that's enough revision for the time being. We will be doing more revision in future programs just to make sure that you're getting everything that we've covered. But we're going to move on now to talk about something a little bit different. I can't actually believe that this is program four and we've not actually covered the words for yes and no. And we're going to use these now in a couple of wee exercises. So, Cara, can you repeat the word for yes, please? It's very straightforward. I'm quite sure everyone knows this. It's si. 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 And if you're writing si, it's spelled S-I, and the I has an accent on it, and it's an, an acute accent, which means it goes up to the right. So, si means yes. Si. Si. And the word for no is very, very difficult. It's no. 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 Si. Si. No. No. Si. Si. No. No. Okay. Si means yes. No means no. I'm going to ask you a question, Cara. ¿Eres de Escocia? Listen to that question again. ¿Eres de Escocia? Cara, what do you think that means? Are you from Scotland? Exactly. ¿Eres de Escocia? Can you answer that question then using the word for yes? Sí, soy de Escocia. ¿Eres de Escocia? Sí, soy de Escocia. Muy bien. Now, if Cara was going to answer negatively to that question, saying, no, I'm not from Scotland, listen carefully to exactly how she would do that. No, no soy de Escocia. Now, this might seem a bit obvious to our listeners, but we just want to make sure that you understand the two no there. The first no, no means no. And then when it's combined with soy, when you say no soy de Escocia, it's the negative form of the verb. So no soy means I am not. So listen again. No, no soy de Escocia. No, no soy de Escocia. No, no soy de Escocia. Muy bien. So, I'm going to ask you, our listeners, if you're from Scotland. If you are, then you can say, si, sí, soy de Escocia. If you're not, then say, no, no soy de Escocia. So, answer this question. ¿Eres de Escocia? So, Cara, what would the listeners have said if they are from Scotland? Si, sí, soy de Escocia. And if they're not from Scotland? No, no soy de Escocia. No, no soy de Escocia. And that no before the verb makes any verb negative. So, for example, if I say, me llamo Mark, it means my name is Mark. But if I want to say, my name is not Mark, I can just say, no me llamo Mark. Now, if you're used to French, then you've got that ne pas to deal with. If you're used to German, then you've got nicht to put in after verbs and things like that. In Spanish, it's really easy. You stick the no in front of the verb and you're sorted. No soy de Escocia. No me llamo Mark. And so on. Let's try some examples, this time using the usted form in that the question. Uh, buenos días. ¿Es usted de España? So, Cara, what question have I asked you? Are you from Spain? Are you from Spain? And of course, this is the formal version. So, ¿es usted de España? No, no soy de España. Muy bien. Now, just before we leave this business of soy, there's one other thing I want to tell you about soy. Soy literally means I am. So, you can use soy as a replacement sometimes for me llamo. Rather than saying me llamo Mark, I could say soy Mark. So, Cara, you could say? Soy Cara. And you, our listeners, could say? Muy bien. Okay, let's move on because we're going to talk about one other thing in this week's lesson. We've already talked about saying where you're from, soy de España, and we know already that you can replace España or Escocia with a city or a town. So I could say soy de Glasgow or soy de Barcelona. But what we've not talked about yet is the word for to live or I live in. Listen carefully. Vivo en Glasgow. Vivo en Glasgow. Vivo en Glasgow. Vivo en Glasgow. 
Now, if you are following the guide that you can download from our website and going through the spelling of all these words that we're covering in today's lesson, you'll have noticed that the word Mivo is spelled V-I-V-O. Depending on which part of the Spanish-speaking world you're familiar with, the letter V is pronounced slightly differently. In Spain, it's pronounced a sort of combination between a B and a V, and it sounds something like R. Try that. R. <laughs> if you feel your lips buzzing, then you're doing the correct sound. R. Vivo en Escocia. Vivo en Escocia. Muy bien. Now, it is quite a tricky scent to produce. Don't worry too much about it, because if you say vivo or vivo or vivo or whatever, you will be understood. And it's also really quite difficult to convey exactly the sound that we're trying to reproduce on a podcast that you're listening to. Anyway, let's concentrate on the word itself. Vivo en Escocia or vivo en Glasgow. Let's repeat that together. Vivo en Glasgow. Vivo en Glasgow. Vivo en Glasgow. Now, to ask where do you live, in the informal version, you would say, what's the word for where again? Donde. Donde. Uh -huh. So, donde vives. Donde vives. Donde vives. Donde vives. So, cara, donde vives. Vivo en Glasgow. Can you ask me the question, please? Donde vives. Yo vivo en Edimburgo. Edimburgo, any guesses as to where that might be? Edinburgh. Edinburgh, yeah. Edinburgh, Edimburgo, Glasgow is just Glasgow. So, vivo en Edimburgo. If we were using the formal version of this question, we would say, ¿Dónde vive usted? ¿Dónde vive usted? Muy bien. ¿Dónde vive usted? So, vivo en, I live in. We already know how to say I am from. What we're going to do now is combine that with I live in. Let's imagine the situation where I am originally from Glasgow, let's say, but now I live in Edinburgh. So, soy de Glasgow, pero vivo en Edimburgo. Can you repeat that, please, Cara? Soy de Glasgow, pero... Vivo en Edimburgo. Muy bien. Soy de Glasgow, pero vivo en Edimburgo. I am from Glasgow. What do you think pero means? But. But. It does indeed mean but. Pero. Pero. P-E-R-O. Pero. Pero. Soy de Glasgow, pero vivo en Edimburgo. Soy de Glasgow, pero vivo en Edimburgo. Muy bien. How would you say... I am originally from Madrid, but I live in Barcelona. Soy de Madrid, pero vivo en Barcelona. Barcelona. En, en español se dice Barcelona. Barcelona. Barcelona, muy bien. Soy de Madrid, pero vivo en Barcelona. Soy de Madrid, pero vivo en Barcelona. Muy bien. Now, we're going to add one more word in here, just to e expand our range of expression again. Earlier on, I said, I am from Madrid, but now I live in Barcelona. The word for now is ahora. 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 Try to combine the a with the ora and make it one sound and not a stop in between. Ahora. Ahora. Muy bien. Ahora. Ahora. Soy de Madrid, pero ahora vivo en Barcelona. Soy de Madrid, pero ahora vivo en Barcelona. Muy bien, perfecto. Now, listeners, if you lived somewhere, or if you live somewhere now that you didn't used to live in, then you could use that phrase to again expand the range of vocabulary that you have. And even if you didn't, it's a nice way to get used to using words like ahora, meaning now. Soy de Barcelona, pero ahora vivo en Sevilla, en Burgos, en Santiago, en Buenos Aires.
And that's where we're going to leave it today for this edition of Coffee Break Spanish. Thanks for joining us and we hope it's been useful. You can join the Coffee Break Spanish community on Facebook at facebook.com slash coffeebreakspanish and follow at Learn Spanish on Twitter. Muchas gracias y hasta pronto. This is a production of the Radiolingua Network. Find out more at radiolingua.com.